Yo, all right. So y'all need to see this, um, because this this helped me, and I hope it helps y'all too. So for the longest while, I've been trying to create this groin ceiling, right? Something looking like this, and um, from from what I saw on YouTube or this guy, this guy Paul just basically did two uh in in place masks or two roofs and basically joined and edit right now i had some problems it apparently uh rivet 2021 wasn't allowing me those options some some options to create uh the roof and dormers and all, all of those sorts to get through right so this was my method so what i did all right i'm gonna do it now a uh, new create a new family right and you want to go into um generic model adaptive this is just basically picking points and then when you import the family you basically click those points where you want to have it so, it's, so it's, it basically makes it kind of parametric all right let's go to the plan view all right all right so basically you want the four points let's say it's a, a, a rectangle wall area like what i have um over here right this this little area here so all right so go to the family and right, we, what we are gonna do we're gonna create points uh, point elements right now these these points here would be my four wall four walls okay so what I could do uh, point there 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 all right so this this is just construction lines Lines, ten by, but the fifteen feet. Right. Ten feet, All right? Go back there. There, hit my center point to get my upper node. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then these guys. Is, those are the four wall points right? and now these are my four corner points this here would be my elevation points right We could remove our contraction lines remove lines nice all right so let's go to the tree basically this is it all right so we now we are going to highlight the points and create yeah we're going to make adaptive right over here and right, so now we have we could assign elevations and we could move the points to what what we like Now, right, so now that we have done that, what we want to do is create this link um, between your from from the picture your highest node to your end node. Right, so let's do that. Create this using spline. Right, create that line there. Click here. <coughs> 
forget forget this. Alright, there's spline. Nice. Now these three points is where you're gonna have the arc on left well let let's say east and west. East, west and then north south arc. Alright, so spline. Forget about that. And you need to move in an order. Like you can't pick this and then pick this and this. It messes up the spline. So you need to go like in a straight line, then create the spline. So this, this, this spline. Nice. So now, now that we have that, uh, I want to go to the elevations. So basically, And so I'm gonna move it in about I'm gonna put it at about two feet. Yeah. You could use oh man, what what is that? Click on the node, what did I do? Oh two feet. Yeah. Two feet there. Alright, alright, two feet. Up, just added the dimensions to fit nice. Then you want to go to the other elevation, right? Move this up. I prefer to move and just edit the dimension to feet so that way I don't get in, I don't, I, I understand what I'm doing in a sense. Alright, so now that we have that, let's go to the tree. So basically this is what we have. Which, which is the general of what we are looking for. Alright. Alright, so now so now that we have this, right? What we are basically what we are basically going to do is create forms using the lines that we really know. Linked our nodes to. Right? Now, as you can see, this is basically kind of shaping up to look like what we wanted it to look. All right, so, um, let's go to. All right, no. Let's just click these. These are uh, triangles. Create form. Now you see two options: thick or well, thin. Just shell thin. Remember. All right. So click. And we are basically going to do that for the four sides. Create form. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Form. Team member. Alright, alright, alright. So this is this is basically what we are looking for in a nutshell. Yeah, it takes some time, but once you do it once, it's a family, so you could use it on a lot per, a lot of projects. Right, so this is basically this is basically it. Alright. So what we are gonna do now is that we could now save our family file. Save it. Alright, I'm gonna just saving one right. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just gonna X off this, 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 and this. Back into my project now. Alright, just go to component. Uh, Edit type load and then look just look for where you saved saved it. Where did I go? Alright, enter. Default elevation ten feet. 
Alright. Alright, alright. So now that we are back into our ceiling view, right? What we are gonna do is that we are basically gonna go to architecture component. Uh this is our ceiling that we created using adaptive. Now we just need to pick the four external points of the room and the ceiling would be per well it, it, it would it would fix the suit in a sense in a parametric way. Alright, let's just do this we'll click one click. Alright. Two clicks, three clicks, four clicks. And once you click the four four points, just press enter. And this is what you you'll get. Alright, so in plan, this is it. In 3D, alright, this is what you're looking at. Right there. So this is basically what you want. Alright, you could just probably change the material. Alright, edit. Uh alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. But yeah. <coughs> I think you would have to change the material in the family. Right, let's let's just let's check it out one time. Alright. That the material <laughs> Alright, so this is what it looks like in 3D. If you want to let's go back to our plan view. I can show you the section on this side and on this side. Right, those, that's my section view. Uh, so section one. We have alright, so it's not really at the height I want it to be. Alright, I wonder if I can move. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring it to that height. Alright. So this is my ceiling, my cross section there, and my section. Section, section, and this is that. That's your barrel tree. That is it, guys. So I hope this. I hope this helps you.